Hello again guys, hope you're all good. So today I just wanted to quickly talk about clutch springs. In my previous video I spoke about the contra or torque spring which sits between the clutch and the uh, rear pulley. So what I'm talking about now is the actual springs inside the clutch. Now unfortunately with this particular clutch it's a sealed unit, it's a stock unit, it's not actually possible to well maybe it is possible but I'm not going to strip this apart to show you guys because it's not really that interesting to look at but basically your clutch usually has two but mostly through well, sometimes they have two but usually they have three um, arms basically you can see the arms here they've got pivot point that's the end of the arm and then you've got the pads here and what happens is as this spins round for the force of it spinning around flings these arms out and they contact the inside of the bell here which then basically engages drive so what you've got between the springs and the plate here you've got springs and these springs basically dictate how fast these arms fling out and engage the drive um, so Stronger springs will hold these in for longer and will engage drive at a higher RPM, where softer springs will let these fling out sooner and engage at a lower RPM. Now, as far as changing these springs, um, if you increase the power of your engine, what's going to happen is the standard springs are going to be too soft because you're putting more power through the engine now. It's, it's capable of flinging those out easier. So you effectively need to put slightly thick, uh, not thicker, slightly stronger springs in uh, to allow it to engage a little bit later. Um, because if they engage too early, what can happen is you can basically get a bogging effect when you pull away. Um, so yeah, basically, most of the time, I said it with the Contra spring, um, most of the time, if you're just going to change your exhaust, maybe a big bore kit, you probably don't actually need to change the springs in your clutch. It's only really once you start pushing bigger powers, putting like, you know, big bore kit exhaust, carburetor, proper tuning, starting to push considerably more power than stock. That's when you might start to run into problems with these springs being a little bit too soft and having to go up another um, uh, stiffness. As with the contra spring, though, a big mistake a lot of people make is going for the stiffest springs they can possibly find. What will happen then, if you put springs that are too stiff in, uh, basically it will rev like hell before it actually engages. And by the time it does engage, it will have already shifted up into a high gear and basically it's just going to bog. It's not going to perform very well. What you're looking for is for it to engage, not immediately, but not long after that if that makes sense you want it to rev up just a little bit and then engage uh you don't want it to engage instantly because uh, if the springs are too soft what might might even happen is it might try and engage whilst you're basically idling or something like that i don't know um maybe not at idle that's that's probably unrealistic but certainly like just off idle and you might find that the engine bogs down because it just doesn't it hasn't got into its power band yet so it's not really ready for the clutch to engage so if you're if you have increased the power of your engine and you're finding that your pull away is a little bit boggy, then that might will more than likely be your issue. You need slightly stiffer springs in your clutch. Um, otherwise, if it's operating absolutely fine and you've put performance parts on, but it's actually engaging, or it feels like it's engaging fine just leave it alone. It's it's one of those things that you only really need to do if you're actually having problems. If you're not having any problems, then leave it because, as I say, if you put springs in that are too thick, uh, too strong, you're going to be revving way too high before it actually engages and it's going to also cause you problems. Um, so it's a bit of a, a fine balance um, getting it right. Um, but if it's already right, leave it alone, effectively. So there you go. Hopefully... As always, this was useful to some of you guys out there. If it was, please do give the video a like. Uh, go check out my other videos. I've done quite a few now on um, scooter tuning and a few other little bits and bobs. So go check those out. And for now, I'll catch you again soon.